<sighs> Thank God, we're back. Yeah, I dragged you around a lot, huh? Ugh, sorry, man. <sighs> I'm dead tired. How are you holding up? I guess you don't really show it, huh? But damn, if what we saw was for real, oh, this is gonna get good. I totally remember the faces of the guys Kamoshida was treating like slaves. Once we make him fess up to any physical abuse, Kamoshida will be done. So, wanna help me look for those guys or any witnesses? Now that's what I'm talking about! Hey, so... If you're thinking of laying low because you got a record, I don't think that'll help. Everyone already knows. They totally got you pegged as a criminal. Kamoshida opened his damn mouth. No one else besides a teacher could have leaked it that fast. It doesn't matter if it's a student or a club. That asshole just wrecks things he doesn't agree with, just like he did with me. No one will take anything I say seriously. Still, those rumors about him getting physical might be real. And after seeing Kamoshida's distorted heart thing in person, there's no way I can just sit back. You gotta do this! I'll help out too. I'm counting on you. Don't worry, I'm hyped about this too. Acting as a phantom thief would have been more efficient alone. You could have gone about it that way. However, you did not. There are merits to having associates. That's what you decided. Am I wrong? become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the chariot persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. anything since lunch. It'd be weird splitting off now, so why don't we grab a bite somewhere? Just follow me. I mean, I totally gotta hear about your past. What? The hell, man? How much shittier can that asshole get? But just hearing your story makes me angry. So, you left your hometown, and you're living here now, huh? Huh. We might be more alike than I originally thought. I don't got a record like you do. I mean, that's not the point. I guess it's how we're treated like a pain in the ass by the people around us. Like we don't belong. I did something stupid at school before, too. The place you're living now is in Yongen, right? It's rush hour on the subways. I suggest you kill some time before heading home. What the hell, man? You barely touched your food. Just let me do it. I gotta thank you for helping me. Anyways, I got your back like you got mine from tomorrow on. As long as we do something about Kamoshida, I'm sure we'll both feel better about being at school. Oh yeah! Tell me your number. Oh, chat ID, too. Just you wait, Kamoshida. We're gonna start right away tomorrow. First, let's hit up those guys that were kept as slaves. The volleyball rally's tomorrow, huh? 
<laughs> Shit's recommended by Kamoshida. Makes me want to gag. But thanks to that, we got no classes in the afternoon, and we can walk around unnoticed. Well, I guess we can work out the details tomorrow. Come on, you gotta eat more. There's tons of ginger here. So, about this plan to take down Kamoshida. Ah, right. <sighs> I haven't been sleeping well lately. Whenever I close my eyes, I keep thinking about too many things. Shio. Nationals are coming up soon, so I keep thinking, should someone like me really be on the starting lineup? Don't worry. Just be confident in yourself. Your skills have been recognized. It's all because you work harder than anyone else. <laughs> yeah. Volleyball's all I have after all. More importantly, was that injury okay? It looked really swollen. No, it's nothing. It's normal. Especially since a meet's coming up. <sighs> Sorry to interrupt, Suzui. Um, Mr. Kamashita told me to get you. Huh? What does he want? He didn't say. <sighs> On, I... It'll be fine. I bet it's a meeting about the starting lineup or something. <laughs> yeah. Well, I better go. Yep. Good luck. Hang in there, Shio. You're home. I take it you actually went to school today? I guess you learned your lesson after what happened yesterday. As long as you're not getting into trouble, it's fine by me. I don't know what you've been up to, but trust me, you'll be gone if you start causing problems. In case you forgot, your life is not a free one right now. Are you even listening to me? Just stay away from bad influences, okay? Hey, I'm gonna head home for the night. I'll lock the store up. Don't go wandering out. something.
Welcome to the Velvet Room. I thought about resuming our previous conversation tonight. That is why I have summoned you. What are your thoughts? Are you becoming accustomed to this place? What are your thoughts? Are you becoming accustomed to this place? Ah, glad to hear it. It seems you have nerves of steel. The goal of your rehabilitation is to thwart the fated ruin. However, such a feat cannot be done by you alone. Today, you entered a partnership with someone who awoke to the same power, did you not? Involving yourself with others is an important foundation for your recovery. You've done well. That said, I am not advising the formation of superficial relationships. It must not be a frivolity, but a ring of those who would, by morals or faith, lend you their strength. In other words, they are bonds with those who have been robbed of their places to belong. The expansion of said ring will, in return, help you mature as well. Personas are the strength of heart. The stronger the bonds that surround you, the more power your personas will gain. There are countless people in the city who have talents that a weakling like you doesn't. You better rack that noggin of yours and get them on your side. We'll change that into power. Indeed, you should be prepared to use even myself, or your ambitions will not come to fruition. <laughs> we have a deal then. become the wings of rebellion that break it thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the full persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Well, you will understand it all in due time. Continue devoting yourself to your rehabilitation. Now this conversation's over. Get lost, inmate. How annoying. We've barely started high school and already they're making us play at a volleyball rally? And why are they pitting us against the teacher team? Kamoshida's gonna crush us. We get to see his technique live and in person though. We should totally get spiked on. Yeah, okay. You're gonna get your face smashed in. Just look at how banged up the volleyball team is. What the hell goes on during their practices? Sticks 
sound hasn't changed a bit. Hmm? Uh, pretty boring. Right? Sorry. Hey, are you all right? Someone, take him to the nurse's office. You get that song. He'll pay soon enough. All right, let's resume the match. That asshole's acting like a king over here, too. Get to know each other better, my ass. It's just a one-man show for him to stroke his ego. Oh, oh, and how he acted like he was worried about Mishima. Oh, what an abusive D-bag. <clears throat> well, anyways, now's our chance to go look for the guys we saw were slaves yesterday. Let's look for the faces we saw at the castle. All the members of the team should be here today. I'll be sure to find someone to spill about Kamoshida's physical abuse. Just you wait, asshole. The first one that popped out was a guy from Class D, so let's start from there. That's your class. Hopefully you can get him to talk without any issues. People have been avoiding me lately, so... Oh, but you're kind of in the same boat, huh? What? Are you skipping out on the volleyball rally? I guess I expect it from you, Transfer. Hey, that's the guy who was over at that castle. You too, Sakamoto? What do you guys want? It's from practice. What does that have to do with anything? Kamoshida did it to you, right? Look, I ain't gonna tell anyone you squealed. Just tell us about how Kamoshida's abusing you. I... I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not. You guys are talking complete nonsense. Don't try and hide it. We already know. You know? You have proof. Well, uh, I... This is ridiculous. Please, leave me alone. You're really bothering me. <sighs> All right, that's enough. Come on, let's go. That injury ain't normal, and he still won't fess up. Crap. If we keep going at this pace, the ball game's gonna end. Guess that'd be faster. I'll check the practice building for people before clubs start. You handle the classroom building. There's a third year on the volleyball team that I remember. I think he's in 3C? He was getting beat pretty badly at the castle. He might have some injuries here, too. Anyways, I'll hit you up if I find anything. See ya.
Can't do it. with you. Like how you were late the other day was a lie and all. There's that weird rumor about you, too. What do you want with him? Right back at you. You're not even in our class. We just happen to get to know each other. What are you planning on doing to Mr. Kamoshida? Huh? I see. I get ya. You're all buddy-buddy with Kamoshida after all. This has nothing to do with you, Sakamoto. If you found out what he's been doing behind your back, you'd dump him right away. Behind my back? What's that supposed to mean? You wouldn't get it. Anyway, people are already talking about you two. I don't know what you're trying to pull, but no one's gonna help you. I'm warning you, just in case. That's all. Why she gotta be so aggressive all the time? We just went to the same middle school. Anyways, that's not what we're here to talk about. I had no luck on my end. What about you? Did anything like someone's name turn up? Huh? Special coaching, huh? True. I always see the guy covered in bruises. Let's go talk to him before he leaves then.